Hi guys, Autumn here today to do my hashtag Ripsack uh, round 10 um, wrap up. Um, this, so this, um, the books I'm going to talk about are the ones I've read from March 27th through March, um, I mean April 12th, which is today. Um, so yeah, um, the first one is that I read was Till Death by Jennifer L. Armitrout. This was her recent release. It came out in February, February 28th, and this is a adult thriller. Um, this follows Sasha, um, who was um, the only victim to ever survive um, the groom, a, a serial killer, and she went away after that. Um, and then she comes back to her hometown ten years later, um, and um, then she meets one of her old flames, uh, Cole, who is an FBI agent. And stuff is happening just like when the groom was um, alive and um, around, um, and this that's all I'm going to tell you about because I think it's better going in with this, um, not knowing too much. Um, I gave this four out of five stars. I really did enjoy it and thought it was very good. Um, I'm not much of a thriller type mystery person, but it was very enjoyable. I did like it. And then the next book I read, I don't actually have a physical copy. I borrowed it from my library on Audible and, uh, well, Overdrive. And that is Enchants by Rachel Van Dyken. This is the prequel, um, to the Eagle Elite series. It's book point five. This follows Juice, Joyce, Luca, Leica, or Luca. And Frank, um, it, it, as I said, is a very enjoyable, it was like 40 pages long. Um, I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. I really did enjoy learning more about their story and, um, yes, very good. And then I read When Constellations Form by Macaulay Smaltzer. This is book four in the um, Light in the Dark series and book two of Thea and Xander's book. Um, I gave this five out of five stars. It came out on the 25th or some. I don't know. I bought this on uh, Nook. Um, and then I bought it on Kindle when it was 99 cents when it released. Um, and I really enjoyed it. Um, it follows Thea and Xander. Now they're married. It goes four years into the future after. So Thea just graduated college and she doesn't know. Um, she's yet to find a job and she doesn't know um, what she wants to do. And Xander is on the NFL team um, for football um, and then Thea gets pregnant and this is a journey of her pregnancy and becoming a mother um, for the first time. So yes, five out of five stars. And look at the cover! It's so pretty. Then I read we read Elite by Rachel Van Dyken. This is book one in the Elite series. Um, I gave this five out of five stars. Really enjoyed it. This follows Tracy or Trace and Nixon, um, where Trace wins a scholarship to go to this very um, prized um, Eagle Elite school. She wins a scholarship. And when she gets there, she meets Nick, Nixon and a few other guys, and they're very secretive. They don't like outsiders. Um, and then, um, yeah, this is a mafia book. This is this one is YA mostly, um, but throughout the other um, books in the series, it's more new adult. So, yes, but I gave this five out of five stars really enjoyed it 
and yeah. I should also let you know that my TBR for hashtag ripsack I did not follow at all so just letting you know that <laughs> um, and then I read Enforced which is book 1.5 in the Eagle Elite series this follows um, Chase's, Nixon, and Phoenix's point of view. This is book, um, uh, this is, um, Elite in their point of view. Nixon's, Phoenix, and Chase's point of view. Um, so, yes. I gave this four out of five stars. Um, enjoyed it. Then I read book two which is Elect by um, Rachel Van Dyken. Um, this is again in Nixon, Chase's, and Phoenix point of view. And this is a continuation of Trace and Nixon's story. I gave it five out of five stars. Really enjoyed it. Highly recommend this series. It's very enjoyable. And then I read book three, Entice. This is... Um, Nix, uh, you get Nixon's Chase Mill and Texas, um, point of view. I gave this five out of five stars, but mostly this is Chase and Mill's story. Um, so, yes. And then it was Elect, Elect, um, book four. And this is mostly um, Texas and um, Mo's story from um, the Eagle Elite. So you do get a few other point of views, but mostly it's their story. And at the end of this story, they had a little novella. Um, which I'll show you. Of um, Trace and, uh, Nick, uh, Nick, Nixon's, um, novella, Amora. So I read this and then gave it five out of five stars. Really enjoyed it. It's a cute, quick, and enjoyable Nixon and Trace story, novella. Then I moved to Ember, which is book five. And this is Phoenix and Bee's story. Um, I gave this five out of five stars. Really enjoyed it. Again, it's a mafia series. And then the last book I have read um, is Include. Include. Sorry. Um, I gave this four out of five stars. This is Sergio's and Andy's book. Um, this one's very sad. Like, this one is very sad. It follows Sergio who has to marry Andy and she only has six months to live um, because she's dying of leukemia and they um, have to protect her from her father um, and doing that, um, Sergio marrying her will protect her. So this one is very sad. Um, but yes, and I'm currently reading book seven, which is Empire, which is Sergio's, um, I just have to find it, sorry. And I'm about 75% through with this one, Empire. Um, which is Sergio's and Valentino's book. Um, so this picks up right where uh, Elude finished. Um, and I'm enjoying it so far. So, those are all the books I read um, in the past two weeks. Um, so, I mean, what? It's one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven-ish books. Um, 
So if you've read any of these and if you want me to do like a full review on any of them, just let me know. I might do a series review of Eagle Elite after I finish Empire the 8th book comes out sometime this year. Um, so yes, um, but those are all the books I read. Um, I'll show you quickly. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.